Oh, sorry, Daniel. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Polar Bears. We're in Churchill. Yeah, buddy. So what's it feel like beer? It's it's almost unbelievable. Uh, as we were just talking on the way here, uh, it's crazy we just walked down this gravel path. Um, similar to the way we had to walk down a gravel path to where flight testing was in San Diego. And just like he said, it's 100 degrees colder. It's so cold. So the first thing we did, we kind of unpacked all the stuff that we shipped up here and brought up here, make sure that the system was okay, all of our components were okay. And then we actually went to kind of a first dry run test. So what it was going to be like to fully gear up, you know, head to toe and actually go and take this stuff outside and actually go to fly to give our first mental prep of what it's going to be like to operate in the Arctic. We feel ready to really get out there in the environment and test, but we understand that, you know, things can change really fast and we have to plan for all scenarios all the time. So our confidence is really high, but we understand that this is an area that's not meant to be friendly. It's a really interesting experience when you get boots on the ground. You know you're in this full up Arctic gear. It's you know it's hard to hear. It's freezing outside. You spend all this time in prep. You're taking all your equipment outside and your personnel. And you know it went really well to kind of get that first step of the ease of operating day in and day out and be able to collect that data that the zoo needs. With initial testing out of the way, the team gets ready to venture out into the tundra to finally meet the iconic species they're trying to protect. We've got everything in place to head out onto the tundra on tundra buggies and hopefully get some time with polar bears. This is going to be really important for everybody here to remember the bigger context of why we're here and to actually get to see these animals in the wild, in their habitat, as they're waiting for that ice to refreeze. For some of the engineers that we have with us, this will be the first time that they've ever seen polar bears in the wild. So this is a really important part of the initial phase of our mission, which is to introduce everybody in the team to the environment in which we're working in and the animal that we're going to be working with. Polar bears are amazing, so they're cute and cuddly, but they're also dangerous. Uh, when we were on the tundra buggy, we got to see a mother nursing, and as a new father myself, that just, it really hits home that these creatures are just on the edge of existence. To collect the research they need, the team must move far away from the comforts of civilization to a makeshift cabin at the edge of polar bear hunting grounds. Right there. We also had to have all of our supplies for lasting up in the cabin, so that includes all of our food, all of our water, so we're bringing all of our water into the cabin for this trip. So everything that you have to think about for your daily life, we had to buy. And we also took them out to the custom helicopter airport and hangar to meet the custom crew. We're going to be flying with them. They have an A-star ready for us to take us to the cabin. So we had to go through the logistics and get everybody comfortable with the helicopter and how that's going to work. So our cabin is in a really remote location. We're situated about 40 kilometers from anything, and it's quite a journey. You know, it's landing a helicopter on the snow, kicks up all this white snow, and it's like you're landing in a cloud. It's really kind of incredible. Battery temperature below 15. Immediately after arriving, the team sets out for their first test flight only to discover their first big problem. The vehicle wouldn't fly. <laughs> 